Good afternoon, good evening, Black and Married with Kids. I am so excited to be with you this wonderful Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing Monday, a great start to your day. I am so excited to be here again on Black and Married with Kids. My name is Arielle. If you are not familiar with who I am, I am the co-owner of Dunamis Woman Enterprise, and I thank Lamar and Ronnie for having me on this platform this Monday. So we have an amazing, I have an amazing topic and a question that I need a lot of engagement. So as you come on, comment below, say hello, tell me what city and state you are from, because I need engagement tonight for this conversation. Because we want to know the difference between a good woman versus a great man. And which one are you? I want to know. Which one are you? Are you a good woman? Are you a great woman? Comment below because I want to know the difference between what you think you are. And I'm going to break down the difference between a good woman versus a great woman. So I'm so glad you guys are joining me. Once again, comment below your city and state where you are from right now on Black and Married with Kids. I'm Arielle Fuller, the co-owner of Dunamis Woman Enterprise, where we guide women of faith through spiritual mentorship, prayer, and coaching so they can experience healing within their soul to transform their life and relationships. So hi, everyone, for watching. Comment below your city and state where you're from. From Virginia, located in Georgia. All right, Michaela, nice to meet you. Thank you for joining me on this conversation tonight. Please share this with all the women that you know because I'm going to drop some powerful nuggets. Hi, Dion. How are you on this topic? Hey, from Chicago. So I'm going to drop some powerful nuggets on this topic of knowing the difference between a good woman versus a great woman. So as you're commenting, tell me below, do you think that you are a good woman or a great woman? I just want to know. And it's okay if you say good. That There's nothing wrong if you say good. There's nothing wrong if you say great. And everything that I'm going to talk about tonight, it doesn't matter where you are. I want everyone to be where they need to be as a woman. Hi from Los Angeles. How are you? So we got a lot to cover tonight. We don't have that much time at all. So please follow with me below because like I said, I'm going to need a lot of you all's engagement from this conversation as you share this and, and chime in. You're aspiring to be great. See, thank you for your honesty. Aspiring to be great. And I'm aspiring to be great because we always have not reached our maximum of where we need to be because we're constantly learning. Hi from Fort Worth, Texas. Nice to meet you. Hi, Annetta. Um, you think you are a great woman. Well, we're going to find out, okay? Y'all ready? Because we're going to find out. Are we good women or are we great women? And men, if you are tying into this, please comment below what you feel based upon this conversation, all right? So I'm going to give you three things that a good woman necessarily possesses. And as you transpire and as you go into, someone said that they're aspiring to be a great woman. So as you're, you know, going through your journey of becoming a great woman, here's some things and some steps that you need to take. And some of you all probably have already took these steps, but some of you all have not. So I'm going to break down the difference and I want you to chime down below, comment below, take notes if you need to on where you are. Hi from Indianapolis, Indiana. So a good woman, all right? Good women are good women. Let's just say that. Good women are good women. However, there's a difference when you're trying to become a great woman, okay? And so a good woman is someone who all women we have experienced hurt within our life. We have experienced maybe some disappointment, maybe some, you know, letdowns, just hearts being broken. We've experienced hurt because as women, we give, we give our heart, we give our, our, our love, we give um, our, our nurturing, we give, we're givers, especially to men. And so naturally, sometimes we get hurt because we have expected someone to give us certain things back in return that they necessarily could not have the capacity to do. And so as a good woman or as a woman in general, we experience this hurt but a good woman she kind of just lets this hurt become a part of her she lets this hurt become a part of her life she lets this hurt become a part of her heart sometimes she allows her heart to get bitter sometimes she allows her heart to get hardened she carries this hurt with her she doesn't really know how to let go of where this hurt is hi Sharon from Atlanta and so nice to meet you so a good woman is someone who is uh she becomes one with her hurt. She becomes one with the things that have caused maybe some frustrations in her life, right? But a great woman is someone who does something a little bit different. She takes this journey in pursuit of life and she says, you know what? I have been hurt maybe by family members, by, by church members, maybe by, you know, men, maybe by my own children. I've experienced hurt. But there's at some point in my life where I'm, I'm saying to myself that I need to start pursuing healing. 
because I can't just carry this hurt with me because if I'm striving to be great, then healing has to start taking place in my life. So comment below if one, you have been hurt before. If you have experienced hurt as a woman, comment below and say, I have, all right? I wanna know if you have, because we all have. It's naturally what we necessarily do. But we enter into relationships, we enter into marriages, we enter into friendships, we enter into all these things, and we haven't really dealt with the necessarily hurt of what we have. Now, healing is a process, and oftentimes we don't really know how to start healing because normally, see for me, I'm only 28, about to be 29 years old, and I'm young, I'm not married, um, I never have been married, however, Healing for me, I always looked at it like you had to be broken, like real down and tried it broken, right? And so for me, I had too much pride that I didn't think that I really needed healing. If anything, I thought that the person that hurt me needed healing, but I was like, I'm good. I don't need healing. I just need that other person who hurt me to get some healing because I'm good, right? And that's what we say as women. I'm good. I'm decent. I'm fine. I'm good. I know y'all have said this before, right? But the truth of the matter is I was too prideful to pursue healing for myself based upon the hurt. Because yes, I probably was good. I probably could have kept going. I probably could have just kept thriving in my education, thriving in my work, thriving in what I was good at. However, in order for me to be great, I had to start realizing that I had to start pursuing healing. And truth of the matter is I was too prideful to necessarily do so. And so healing has to start taking place within a great woman's life. And that's what separates the difference between a good woman versus a great woman. Because a great woman says that I'm going to be intentional about knowing what the purpose of this hurt was for. And as you understand what the purpose of this hurt was for, you start to understand what your purpose is for. Does that make sense? Come below if this makes sense to you guys. Because a good woman just says, well, I've been hurt, I'm decent, yeah, I've experienced that. But a great woman says, I need to turn this hurt into my healing so that I can define my purpose even the more to be able to execute into the things that I necessarily need to do. And you're absolutely right, healing only comes from Christ. But how many of you all know that we are so afraid to pursue healing because when you pursue healing, things start coming up that you really don't wanna face as women. You really don't because it may be something all the way from when you was like four years old and you like, I don't want to deal with that. But we carry that hurt into relationships. We carry that hurt into our marriages. We carry that hurt into the things, into our children's lives. Even though I don't have children, I have experienced and seen moms put their own hurt on their own children because of their fears, because they haven't experienced a certain level of healing. And so we know the difference between good versus great. A good woman says, I'm okay with my hurt. It's a part of me. But a great woman says, healing is going to be a greater part of me. Healing is going to consume me more than this hurt is going to consume me, okay? So that's the first thing between a good woman versus a great woman, all right? So stay with me. So if you're with me below, comment healing, all right? Just put that in the comments. Say healing, 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 okay? So I know that you guys all are with me and you're following along. If you're just now chiming in, I'm breaking down the difference between a good woman versus a great woman as we all transpire to become the great women within our lives, the great wives within our lives, the great women within our lives, the great mothers, the great sisters, the great friends. As we pursue healing, this is the difference between a good woman versus a great woman. And I'm Arielle Fuller and the co-owner of Dunamis Woman. All right, so I see healing, I see healing, I see healing. All right, so you guys are with me, all right? So here's the second thing of what a good woman versus a great woman. A good woman not only is hurt, but she's comfortable. She's comfortable with her journey. She's comfortable with what she has. She's comfortable with her job. She's comfortable with her probably marriage. She's just comfortable. Every day she wakes up, life is just comfortable for her. And that's why sometimes you can look up and people think like, dang, 10 years have passed and I'm still in the same place of where I was. That's sometimes a woman who is just comfortable, a good woman. And there's some, nothing wrong with being comfortable. There's nothing wrong. But a great woman, I want to see if y'all can even guess this. What do you think a great woman is? If a good woman is comfortable, what do you think a great woman is? Because comfort, we all know that we can't grow in our comfort. We can't start changing or making impact in our comfort. Comfort keeps us 
conceal to where we just like to stay in our own bottle, in our own zone, and we like what we expect, and that's it. We don't want to change. But a great woman is something different. She likes challenges. She likes to take challenges that make her uncomfortable so that she can get to where she needs to go. And every time she gets comfortable, she asks God, not, she asks God to make her uncomfortable so she can continue to keep growing. She seeks to be in her state of uncomfortability because in your comfort is where you're never going to grow, okay? So a, a good woman likes comfort, but a great woman says, I need a challenge. I need something different. Even as wives, even in relationships, we should always be getting challenged to go higher and to go greater. We should never be comfortable with what's just around us. We should never be comfortable with our relationships. We should just never be comfortable with our conversations. We should never be comfortable with our daily habits, but we're saying, I'm challenging and I'm growing. And if you are a believer, this is the thing that affects believers nowadays because they have gotten too comfortable with Christ. And never should we go get that comfortable because when you are comfortable with someone, it breeds disrespect. We are always should be learning and growing and challenging ourselves to do something different and something greater. Because in order for us to go deeper, we have to get into our level of uncomfortability. And healing, like I said, is the first step, is what was the first thing that I mentioned, that's going to be uncomfortable completely uncomfortable. Think about, um, uh, uh, this is probably a bad example, but think about a, a, someone who's getting off of drugs, right? And they have this itch and they got to get rid of this and they're throwing up and they're going through this withdrawal and they feel completely uncomfortable. But the process that it's taken them through and then the beauty that's on the other side after they were so comfortable in their addiction, they were so comfortable in what they were used to. They were so comfortable in their hurt, which even caused them to get into the addiction. But once they started going through this withdrawal period, started to get some healing taking place, started to get some uncomfortability, they saw the beauty on the opposite side of where they necessarily were once they endured the process. And that's how we have to be as women. We have to endure the process and we have to go through our healing and we have to accept the challenge. And that's why I love warrior movies and seeing women transpire because never should we be comfortable, all right? So if you're still with me, say I'm with you, come below, Ariel, I'm with you because we just said the first, a good woman is okay with her hurt. A great woman says, I'm going to pursue healing from my hurt so that I can be greater to help other people. The second thing is a good woman is comfortable, but a great woman says, I'm going to accept some challenges. I'm going to actually take a challenge to do something different for my life. Yes. Thank you guys for being with me. If you haven't shared this video, make sure you share this on your timeline right now so other people can observe. Thank you for being with me and make sure that women can get this uh, conversation going. All right. So y'all ready for the third thing? Cause this is this third thing is going to get y'all. Okay. The third thing, a good woman settles. A good woman settles for whatever comes her way. She silences herself. She doesn't speak up and she just settles for what's good. And sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. But when you settle, you lower your uh, uh, power of who you are as a woman because you're accepting just anything that necessarily comes. So a good woman likes to settle. She likes to just settle what is good for her, what's comfortable for her, and she doesn't like to do anything different, all right? But a, a, a great woman does something differently. Because see, when you settle, you let your, your, you let your feelings and your emotions get stirred up and you almost become numb. When you become a good woman and you're settling, you become numb to the things that are around you. You just say, you know what? It is what it is. I don't feel. And I, and I don't know about y'all, but I've been through this experience in my life where I became numb within my emotions where I allow myself not to feel. Because I got so comfortable with just settling for mistakes, just settling for men treating me any type of way, just settling for people to just talk to me any type of way. And I became numb and I just started harboring those feelings. 
But see, God gave us feelings and he gave us emotions for a reason. And so what a great woman does, yes, you're lowering your standards when you settle. What a great woman does is she starts to understand that she can't settle, but she starts to learn how to govern her soul. And by governing her soul, what she means is that she becomes in tune with her emotions. She becomes in tune with her mind. She becomes in tune with what's going on with her because she feels how her soul is operating. And if you can govern your soul, then you can start operating more effectively within the spirit. Because when you got start operating effectively in the spirit, you can start actually making a difference in other people's lives because you have learned how to govern your soul. You learn how to govern your emotions and not become numb to them. Because see, our emotions as women are a beautiful thing. The things that we feel are a beautiful thing as long as we learn how to govern it. When we say words to people, they are beautiful when they come for our emotions in a healed space. But if it comes from a hurt space, then we can end up cussing somebody out. We can end up tearing somebody down, whether that's our children, whether that's our husbands, whether that's our friends, whether that's our bosses, whether it's people around us, we come from a hurt place within our soul. But if you become in tune with your soul, if you come in tune with your healing process, then you know that you can use your emotions for good and not to tear someone down. So this is the difference between a good woman versus a great woman. And so I want y'all to come below these three things that I just said of a great woman. Healing, challenge, and soul. Right? Healing, challenge, and soul. These are the three things that a great woman likes and a great woman aspires and a great woman goes after. She goes after healing, she goes after a challenge, and she knows how to govern her soul. Because all of this is a part of you as a woman that God has given you, yes, that, uh, that allows you to be the great woman that you are. And when you learn how to go through this process, this is what I have for you guys for even watching this video, you grow and transpire in such a beautiful way. And even if people come below and said, well, I feel like I'm a good woman or I have been in a good woman state or maybe I haven't aspired to be the great woman. And even if you already feel like you're a great woman, thank you so much, Sonia, for the comments. Thank you so much, Lucinda, for the comments you can still be able to go after what you want. And so at Dunamis Woman, my mom and I every quarter, for the past three quarters, we have already done three of them, we've done a healing for the soul challenge. This is a free challenge that we offer to women to get healing within their soul so that they can transform their life and relationships. And women, y'all, it has been so amazing to see women take this challenge and say that they're gonna bring healing to their soul. But see, normally what happens when we do this challenge is we just get get done with the 14 challenge and we just go on and we go to the next step after healing takes place. But what I decided to do, if you have never took this challenge with us, if you have never took this challenge with me and my mom at Dunamis Woman, I have combined all of our teachings so that you can get healing within your soul, whether it's from anger, whether it's from rejection, whether it's from abuse, whether it's from betrayal, whether it's from daddy issues, whether it's from mama issues, whether it's from lust, whether it's from you know, uh, uh, control, all these things that as women we need to get healing from or certain things that we need to deal with, I've combined all of this together in a beautiful course that you guys can be able to have access to. And I want you to be able to have access to this because it is for you to start your challenge and to start your journey to bring healing to your soul. So if you want the link, comment below, I want the link to get access to this because the link is, I'm going to tell you, bit.ly backslash my healing course. And I want you to go there and I want you to get access to this course so that you can start your challenge of bringing healing to your soul so that you can transform your life and relationships. And right now, this course until October 3rd is only $10, just $10. That's a small investment within your healing journey that's gonna take place with you. And this, these videos are going to transform your life. So the link is bit.ly, bit.ly backslash, someone type it in for me, please. bit.ly backslash my healing course. And I want you to go there and I want you to get access to the course. It's three volumes. You could choose whichever volume you want. Okay, and you could choose whichever one fits best for your life. If you say I want to heal from rejection issues, daddy issues, all these different things, you could choose that volume. If you say that I need to deal with straight betrayal and rejection, we have one strictly on betrayal and rejection that you could choose from. Someone comment below for the link because I'm on live. So go to bit.ly backslash my 
healing course. The link is above in this video right now. And I want you to go there and I want you to bless yourself with this gift so you can start taking that challenge. And then you will join our free uh, Mighty Christian Women Facebook group on here to interact with other women who have taken this challenge and my mom and you. Yes, that is so right, Lucinda. Thank you so much for dropping that link down below for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lucinda. I love you. That is, a, that is a link right there for you to go to and get access to this. And thousands of women have transformed their lives by taking these courses. Thousands of women have transformed their lives by going through these challenges and digging deep. And so you're going to get the videos. You're going to get devotionals. You're going to get everything that you need to start your healing journey and kickstart it off so that you can be a better wife, so that you can be a great woman, so that you can be a great, amazing mother, so that you can get to where you necessarily need to go. And single women have taken this challenge. Married women have taken this challenge 28 years old like me have taken this challenge and even other women have taken this challenge okay so we all need it and I definitely believe that every single one of you all if you came on this video and you felt like you were a good woman if some of this stuff resonated with you when you said man Ariel I am a good woman trust and believe that I believe in you and I know that you are a great woman but I want you all to go through this process I want you to go through this journey I want you to continue to fight I don't want you to give up because God has something great in store from you as you become the great woman that he has called you to be. And there's never a time for you to not start and kickstart this journey. There's never a time for you to not go back and change the things that you need to change because every day that you take a breath, every day that you breathe, that's another day for you to pursue healing. Healing is not just for the broken. Healing is for the ones who are going to take the challenge to say, I'm going to be better every day because I know there's something that I'm living for greater than me. All right, so I love you guys so very much. Yes, Kenny, and can everyone, before we leave off here, can everyone come below? I am a great woman. Please come below. I am a great woman. I want to see all these comments. Just comment, I am a great woman. The woman, yes, Sonia. Sonia, the women, I am a great woman. You are a great woman. You are the woman. You are a dunamis woman, a powerful woman that God loves. And as you go through your process and you go through your journey, you take the challenge, you are not only going to bless your life, but everyone else that's attached to you. Yes, Tamara, I am a great woman. I love you guys so very much. Please share this video. Melanie, the link is put down below. Someone had dropped it. I'm going to come back in and reply to you all in your comments with the link as well. Yes, Nikita, you are a great woman. I love you guys so very much for being with me and having me on this Monday. Thank you, Lamar and Ronnie, for having myself here and being a part of this Black and Mirror with Kids Live and giving you all this content because I love being with you all. I love your feedback. And please share. Yes, Justice. Yes, Melinda. Yes, Penny. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me. Yes, Sandra. You are a great woman. As always, I love you all so very much. I cannot wait to be with you next Monday. Tomorrow, you all will hear from my mama as she comes on here on Black and Mirror with Kids. So stay tuned because she's going to have an awesome topic for you tomorrow. So I love you guys. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for everything. And have a beautiful rest of your Monday and a great night. All right? Go to the link and I'll comment below and have that link for you guys. Goodbye.